Hi, and welcome to the Tara Life Coach channel with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. What a difference a week makes. Last week, I was not feeling well. I had cyanitis and was doing all of my homeopathic and alternative medicine um, remedies while I'm here in Spain. And wow, I feel so much better. I can definitely say that using a neti pot or some type of saline solution really helps with draining. Um, I had so much just pressure in my head and it's very interesting being the full moon so I felt very lethargic, very tired, a lot of pressure but this week I'm back to normal, I'm excited, I'm happy, the weather is finally changing here in Madrid, just a little bit of a slight coolness in the air, not as hot, it's still beautiful and sunny here in Madrid and again I'm just loving it. So again today is Monday, October 17th and it is a week of a lot of change. I know over the weekend there was Occupy London, there was an Occupy here in Madrid, there was Occupy in, in Rome and it ended in a lot of destruction and so again like I've been saying all summer this energy is really starting to change. People are really starting to say no and not letting people walk over them and so with that energy I just want to again just take a moment to breathe in gratitude and exhale gratitude because I really do feel that this time is a transformation not just for us as human beings but also for the world for the planet really really starting to feel these shifts and you know it's really interesting with all the talk of 2012 upon us as well as we get nearer and nearer that date of December 21st 2012 it's really interesting what's going on in our society so again just breathing in gratitude knowing that as you believe you will receive and so that is our message for today believing and receiving and so with that said I'd like to take a moment, and this week again, I'm using the Messages from Your Angels deck by my beloved Doreen Virtue. I feel like me and her are best friends sometimes because her cards really do speak to me, and I'm grateful every day for her going forward and, and doing what her spirit said to do, and that's exactly what I'm here doing in Spain. I'm doing everything I've wanted to do. My business is doing very well as Tarot Life Coach, and I really do love what I do. Um, our sessions, sessions I have with clients are really an opening and allowing and I just am assisting what people already know within and I'm just giving them tools and tips and guidance and helping their lives be the best life that they can possibly live and so I'm just so grateful to be able to do what I love to do. I am also working on my book. It is called From Fear to Faith and it was it came about, of course, it's been coming about for a very long time, but the title came about one day while I was on the air with Ron Ash on our show on Thursdays, being with Ron Ash, and I had actually told someone, you need to move from fear to faith, and lo and behold, at that moment, Ron and I both had a moment, and we were like, that is the title of your book, so that is what I'm working on, and so each week I really want to build on that kind of energy from fear to faith. Let your spirit, you be your own revolutionary, be your own revolution. Really live the life that you want, because if you weren't gone tomorrow, what would you want people to know about you? What would you want people to to remember about you and it's not about what you have it's about the type of person that you were were you afraid did you live life out loud did you live life to its fullest that's what living from fear to faith is really about and I also coined a term many years ago when I was still studying to be a science, uh, science of mind practitioner um, called Enrich Spired, and so that is living a life of enrichment at the same time inspiring others and being inspired. So make sure you're reading books that speak to your soul. My favorite author um, is Paulo Coelho, and I love his work. His work, his new book, Adolf, is also the name of Natalie Portman's new baby boy, and it is really a, a symbol of the Jewish faith of and it really has a really deep meaning. So if you're not reading anything, check out some Paulo Coelho, 
more than The Alchemist. A lot of his books, although they might not seem like they have the appeal to you that you're looking for, go a little deeper. His books, have, I mean, they're almost like guidebooks to me, even though they're fiction. And another great book that I can truly recommend is Second Sight by Dr. Judith Orloff. If you are looking to enhance, to really expand your intuitive insight, check out that book. It is a really wonderful book. I use it with my students. It really helps you open up your intuitive gifts. And if you ever want to take a class with me, don't hesitate to email me. You can find all my information, of course, on my website at www.tarolifecoach.com. So let's get on with these cards. So today for our, Arch our angel messages from your angels, we got Archangel Uriel. And it says your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. So remember that this week. What a wonderful way to start the week. Release fear. Release judgment. Release what needs to be released so you can have and live the life of your dreams. Live the life that you know is yours to live instead of living somebody else's version of what they think your life should look like. A lot of people have that guilt from their parents, them from you know, especially from their mother, from their siblings. From, from society, you know, live your life, be you, be, like I said, your own revolutionary. Oh, wow, now this is a first. Now, I know you heard me shuffling the deck. And we got all major arcana cards, so this is telling me we have a very big week ahead, lots of change, like I said. So really pay attention to what you're feeling, what's going on around you, and all of your relationships, and work, everything, because we got the chariot, the Hierophant and the Moon. And so, wow, that's all I can say. What the Chariot is telling me, looking at this card, is that we are in between two worlds. We are living in our reality and also in our con subconsciousness. And so this is a time to make your dreams a reality. Stop only thinking in your mind and letting these dreams sit dormant in your heart. It's time to expand. Let your heart really be free. Let your spirit be free. If you want to sing at the top of your lungs in the middle of lunch, do it. Who's going to say anything? People might look at you funny. People might judge you, but they're judging you because they're afraid simple as that. The chariot is also telling me to make sure that you watch yourself. If you are tired, take a nap because sometimes the chariot also means a very deep dream time. So this could be a lot of people are having a lot of very vivid dreams, especially with the moon card at the end. So please pay attention to your dreams. Keep a notebook, notepad next to your bed. Listen to what your subconscious is telling you. And then the hierophant this is all about that wise teacher, that spiritual guide. If there is someone that you know that you've been wanting to connect with, a teacher, a professional, anyone who you feel like you have a greater sense of being with as a guide or a mentor, connect with them if you can this week. Or if you have felt the urge to volunteer, big brothers, big sister, or even just to volunteer to help somebody, to, to go to a soup kitchen, any of that, this is the week for that because it's all about compassion. And remember, it's time to heal our emotions, which opens us to greater love. So be very aware of where your spirit is guiding you this week. I really feel that, especially because if you've I've watched my videos every week. You know we have never gotten all three major arcana cards. And so then with the moon is telling me, again, this will be a very emotional week. But again, it's all in how you decide it to be. If you believe emotion means bad, then that's exactly what you get. If, you mean emo if emotion means good, healing, love, remember our card. If you believe that it's emotions are healing and it's time to expand your heart, your spirit, your mind, then that's exactly what you'll get. So again, this week is just a lot of, lot of change. Be aware, pay attention, listen with your inner ear, not your outer ear, which is your intuitive side, because that is exactly what we're getting this week. And with it being the middle of the month, we have no new moon, we have no full moon. It is just exactly where we need to be. So take um, heed for this week. Really pay attention to how you're feeling, things that are going on, and just enjoy yourself. And please check in with me if you ever want anything or want to connect with me. You can find me on Facebook, Tarot Life Coach, or you can find everything you need to connect with me through Twitter 
or on my video, my website at www.tarolifecoach.com. Make sure you check out my radio show on Blog Talk every Wednesday at noon Central Standard Time. That's Chicago time at noon. It's actually 7 p.m. here for me in Madrid, which is so funny to me every time I think of it. And then also on Being with Ron Ash every Thursday from 10 a.m till 12 noon and that's eastern standard time because he is on the east coast and it is 4 to 6 p.m. for me here in Madrid and so just so much love pay attention write notes send me an email let me know how your week was I'd really like to hear more about it and next week we have a wonderful or actually in two weeks it's going to be Halloween and the anniversary of a very dear friend of mine who is no longer with us but very funny this morning I was thinking about my angels and I pulled a, a Divine Guidance Oracle card on Facebook. Um, Cheryl Harness has a wonderful deck called Divine Guidance Oracle Cards. And I got loved ones, so I know my angels are with me. Know your angels are with you. Until next week, peace and blessings. <laughs>